Hey guys, welcome back to Dark Souls 3. Here we are in the Ringed City. DLC number 2, boys. Let's get going and... Yeah, make some progress and keep getting ambushed. And here's the thing, like... I don't even remember how long this DLC is. In terms of episode times, especially now that I'm gonna be recording, like... Basically... Uh, at least 40 minute episodes unless like something drastic happens you know that kind of throws off my timing because people yesterday in the stream I was playing Resident Evil 2 which uh, by the way check it out um, people ask when I'm gonna switch to the new streaming schedule and you know my answer is that as soon as I finish these games and I don't know when that is Genuinely. Oh, this motherfucker. Talk about getting owned. I'm talking about myself. How the hell did I not die? Don't ask. Bitch. It's all good. Frostbite this little motherfucker. Speaking of, I'm not in human form or ember form or whatever. Yeah, I should probably fix that. I mean, one thing I say, I'm gonna be, you know, sometimes on YouTube you gotta shill yourself, but uh, people usually stick around for these Dark Souls videos. Just wanna ask, guys, if you don't have post notifications turned on for my channel, make sure to turn them on. It's a little bell icon. And hit that, you know, I know it's the shit that every YouTuber says, but, you know, I've noticed lately that post notifications have been pretty bugged recently. And I think a lot of people, for example, I've had people comment that they sometimes just don't see when I stream. So make sure, guys, please, if you want to stay up to date with my content, want to see what I do. Oh, yeah, I don't think so. Want to see what I got going when I'm streaming, when I'm posting? Make sure to turn those on because it's really, again, the best way to stay up to date on my content. It's really kind of a weird thing. Like, I think one of the stupidest things that YouTube did and one of the things that I think is actively contributing to this platform being as shit as it is or as problematic as it is, is the stupid... Well, first of all, it's the destruction of the homepage. The fact that the homepage is filled with shit, basically, and there's, like, some weird arbitrary system on whose videos you see and whose you don't. And again, I completely understand from my perspective as well. Uh, for example, I have YouTubers that I love to watch, and sometimes their videos just disappear. Sometimes, randomly, the post notifications just get turned off and I want to watch all their videos and I'm not getting it. Uh, so it's really, it's really weird. And again, probably some of you had them turned on, but I don't know, YouTube just like deactivates them after a while. That was the stupidest thing I've done. Um, so it's really shitty. I think the bell icon really ruined this platform. I'm serious. Where is this little bitch? I know she's casting or he. Oh, god damn it. You know what? Apparently, I cannot land on that platform, so fuck it. Yeah, just move on. Are you? Are you serious? Is this game stoned? Is that just gonna follow you everywhere? Alright, I gotta kill it. I saw it moving around somewhere. Oh, there it is. There's like a weird little half floor. Oh, yeah? I don't think so. So, yeah, again, that's my YouTube rant for today done with. Let's get a move on. Anyways, here we are in the Ring City. Been a while. 
since I've been in this area. And apparently, it's been a while since I've been able to dodge these guys. Man, that was some shitty ass dodging. Wonderful. Uh, there's these three idiots here. They're kind of difficult to kill. I think I just ran past them, didn't I? The last time. I don't think I killed three of these. Alright. Man, I got a lot of souls. Speaking of. Should use them because. Sure as hell ain't using them for anything else, so I might as well. You know, might as well get on that. That's what's cursing. I was just about to say, like, what the hell is cursing me? It's these assholes. The fine citizens of the Ringed City. Uh, very, very welcoming. But man, I love this area. Said it the last time as well. It was like really well designed. It actually feels like a city that would be inhabited. Instead of just like, you know, video game level. Which is nice, which is nice, you know. As I said before, they did a far better job. I thought it dropped something. They did a far better job on this DLC than DLC 1, which is okay, but, you know, kind of shitty. Yeah. I don't think so. Don't even think about pushing me. This is not Fortnite, you don't push in this game. And, of course, these guys respawn. I'm glad that these enemies are not annoying at all. What does their little ring spell even do? Oh, it just hurts you. If you're in it. If you're in it to win it. You get fucked up. Look at this. Pro platformer now. You saw that. Good thing I'm a pro at this game. Oh yeah, thank you camera. Let's just... Lure this guy up here, but I want to kill this little bitch before I... Oh, so <laughs> I was about to fall again and... Yeah, that... That was a little bit scary. I'm gonna kill this thing. I don't trust it not following us. was an interesting set of events. Oh, wonderful. They don't like frostbite, that's for sure. Which I guess fits with the theme. These guys being fire themed. Fire emblemed. Man, fire emblem. I was just thinking of that series because I was playing with all the Fire Emblem characters in Smash. Man, those guys are OP. It's not... Well, no, I shouldn't say that. They're really good. But they're not like... Speak thee the name of God. Thine own God, if thou canst recall. Ah, then thou hast not forgotten. Perhaps tis why we may converse. I know she... I don't know if she's... Servant to the Princess Filiano. Matriarch. I don't remember what you do here. I'm the Dark Lord, by the way. Oh, fuck. Are you kidding me? You've got to be kidding me. I thought areas with dialogue like this are safe. Now I missed all the doink dialogue she was spouting. I was actually interested 
because my lore master knowledge is not too great on this area. How much HP do you have? Sheesh. And you can buzz their head, and that deals a lot of damage to them. Fuck you. So, sorry, minor interruption. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take not from the princess her peace or rest. Oh. Oh, the quest. Haven't seen it so far. Remaineth. I'm not sure half of these are actual words. Fuck that boss, by the way. And fuck that noise. Take this. Sacred Chime of Filianor. Alright. Cool, cool. I ain't doing that. Screw that. We've discussed this, but... The boy is not a fan of the Medir boss fight. It's cheap as hell. Relies on... Doing way too much damage. Some would call it OP damage. The biggest problem being is just not fun to fight him. When a boss full HP can literally take like 90% of yours. Alright, where's Fatso? Are you kidding me? Freaking out. That was some bullshit. This game is content on fucking me over today. Please be enough, please be enough. No, it's not enough. The world is not enough. Why did I reference that? Don't even ask me. Old James Bond movies? I haven't even seen that many. Alright, you better stay down there. Mm, no, how about no? Oh, fuck. My blind ass thought that was connected. <laughs> Those two platforms. Turns out they ain't. Yeah, that, that was painful. Hear the boy under me. Come on. Pick your little head out. Huh, weird. Oh no, he's gone. I don't know why I thought he was under. Down under, as they say. That was the worst Australian accent ever. Excuse me. I don't think I have too many Australian viewers though. So, you know, holy shit. Wait a second. This weapon does like an AoE when you... No. Oh, it must have like corresponded with the frost noise, like perfectly. I, like I would have noticed that if this, game, if this weapon had some special property. All right, doink. Oh no, oh yeah, there's invaders here. Seeker of the Spurned. They're all gimmicky ones too. No! Can this one heal? That's the question. Well, whatever, it's dead. Okay, 
Wolf Ring plus three. I thought I seem to remember that some of the NPCs in this area have gimmicks. Black Witch set. That is a nice set. Except does it still have the crooked hat? I don't want to wear it. Yes, it probably does. Yeah, that's annoying. Very Harry Potter like this this helmet. But yeah, as people pointed out, because I was wearing it for quite a while in my Dark Souls 2 stream, it does look annoyingly crooked. And yeah, it's just kind of can be an eyesore. But it does give you an extra attunement. At least it did before. I don't know the up-to-date mechanics on it. Yeah, how about me not getting killed? Oh! The booty weapon. These guys are way too thick. It's their problem. Them thick boys. Okay, how about not getting killed to this enemy? Even though I've been like low on resources all throughout this place, it's all good. 125,000. We live for low resources in these playthroughs. That might not make sense, but hey. Oh shit. Okay, wonderful accuracy on my attack. How about, yeah. Oh, there's another one. Why is there another one? Why do you deal so much damage? Are you... What the hell? Did you see him shuffling? Okay, screw this. How many of these assholes are there? See, the problem is... I straight up don't know where the next bonfire is. I have an idea, and this ain't it. Uh, yeah, like through... Okay. Just gonna point out, yes. Knew it was here somewhere. I was just gonna say that on a scale of 1 to 10, I was pretty much screwed there for a long time, but hey. We made it. <clears throat> Let's just go back. So yeah, again, back to earlier topic. Resident Evil 2, man, that game is good. It's really, like, apparent. That when you put effort into a remaster, how well it can turn out. And, like, people really like the Spyro remaster as well. And I want to get that as well. It's just been kind of low on my priority, but it's on my radar. But this remaster, like, kudos to Capcom. Again, I've been one to shit on Capcom couple of times. I mean, what they did with Marvel Infinite was kind of a tragedy, even though there were multiple factors there outside of Capcom's control. I really hate their DLC pricing model, like with Street Fighter V and all that. And like, you know, the thing is like adding shit, like ads into Street Fighter V, that's just so, just so scummy. So again, I've been, I've never been one to shy away from shitting on Capcom, but hey, when they do something right, they do something right. And they've been kind of on a hot streak with Resident Evil. Uh, and again, this might like straight up invalidate my opinion in some people's views. Some people's views. But I enjoyed 6. I liked Resident Evil 6. Not... I wouldn't say it was especially good as a Resident Evil. But it was a fun action game. Kind of survival action. But 2, like... Yeah, if you grew up on those games, I can definitely see why. Wow, he's spilling his juices all over. 
Um, I can definitely see why six was kind of jarring. But then again, seven was. I think everybody loved seven. But two, man, like two is excellent. It's got a tyrant in a fedora in a trench coat. Like, do I need to say more? If I remember correctly, these guys just keep spawning, don't they? I don't remember the bitchness in this area, how it goes. What I do remember is our ghost summoning buddy. There he is. Man, do I hate this motherfucker. So I think what I'm going to do is not, actually, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do, but because he's going to notice me, that's going to be, that's going to be a bad time for me. Let me tell you that. Okay. Dark Souls platforming. Never been the strongest suit of the series. Okay, how am I gonna how am I gonna do this? Cause all of this just leads to like hella random shit, if I remember correctly. Cause that church is where we have to go, I think. Not gonna lie, it's been a while. There's also that building. White birch, what the hell is this? Oh man, this controller. I don't know what it, what is up with this controller because it's very, this is a very strange issue, like, it seems to temporarily, just very infrequently, kind of forget that I'm holding the button down. And that ain't a good thing. That ain't fun. What up? Yeah, can I just go in here? Yeah, thanks. Don't mind me. Church Guardian Shiv. Oh shit. Hello. Getting some doink equipment. Actually, none of these are good. <laughs> they probably are, but not for this build. This is all like, whoa, okay. Lesson to self. Don't get stuck in two of these things at the same time. They they deal a lot of damage. Man. It's for sure not a miracle you can get, right? I don't I would remember it. Uh, there's another NPC here, isn't there? All right, there like there is some fuckery going on here. I don't remember what the deal is, but I remember that the very end Oh, they put a Dragon Slayer. I remember now. Like, 4K. Like, why? What is this motherfucker doing here? And I know he's, uh, he has, like, a... Metric fuck ton of HP and metric fuck ton of damage dealing potential. No, actually, maybe not. I don't think so, boy. I for sure would one shot me though. A frostbite is so good. These weapons, I can for sure 100% believe. Oh. Well, thank you. Or understand when people say that uh, the heavy, like great hammers and everything, are OP. They straight up are. I'm not even gonna deny. Yeah, guys, you might want to get that swamp checked out. It seems to be swallowing your city. And that's what she said. Fuck, my jokes are terrible today. I don't th I think I've managed to metal gear past that dude. Which is good because 
It's what you want to do. Dodging. Oh. What the hell? There's two of them. Uh-oh. Are we in trouble or are we in trouble? There's three of them. Shit, 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 shit. There's a fourth one. Holy. Ouch. There's a hundred thousand souls there. Hanging in thin air now. This is terrible. Oh, shit. Why do I have a feeling that I'm going to lose these souls? I don't know. It's just the spider senses. All right. It's sprinting time. So this path that I've been taking seems like the safe path not to get noticed by whatever his name is. I don't know. I, I think he does have a name, don't he? Yeah, he's like a... He's like a judge or judicator or something. Yeah, that's it. And use your walking stick. They're like those old couples, you know, you see like national parks and everything with the two walking sticks. Just hiking. Except this is a weird locust enemy instead. Oh man, like I'm hating this spell more and more that they cast. Now, I'm fairly sure the Dragon Slayer does not respawn. That, that would be a real kick in the ass. Alright, you just you just keep going guys. I'm not gonna not even gonna interrupt. So now what I have to figure out is how I'm going to avoid getting Fucked up by three of those weird knights. I think they're called Ring City Knights or Ring Knights or whatever. Because that was a massacre. Like, there's no... There's no other way to go about it. That was an absolute... Just... Clusterfuck. So, how will I do this? How about by ignoring them? Although it's not going to work because I'm pretty sure that's where we have to go and advance the game. Oh, shit. Spin to win. I was really hoping that was going to be a backstab. Ring Knight Hood and Tight Knight Chunk. Hey, I got the hood. Black Witch Whale. Yeah, they're really giving you the Black Witch set. They're pushing it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why wouldn't it be a dead end? Right? Told you that the church is the way forward. I remember it. I remember this game. Or this part. Not this game. Well, of course. I should remember this game. Oh, f fuck. Okay. This might be good. I don't know how I managed to achieve that, but... Hey. Just taking down one is very helpful. Although two still might be an issue. Hello. And thank fuck these guys are dumb. And apparently... Like... Team communication is not the strongest in these boys. I'd sign them up for a team building event because, you know, it looks like they need to work on their 
inter-team. Communication and I was getting killed. No. Why am I st saying stupid shit while I'm fighting these guys? But, you know, really, people who work in... Like, people who work at corporations know the kind of language I just talked about very well. You know, I'm speaking from experience, but... You know, those people get paid the big bucks to say stupid shit like that, so... Who am I to, you know, make fun of them? Some of those events can actually be really fun. These, like, bullshit team building things. Like, not like, when, not like actual team building when we, like, go with the team and get drunk. That's cool. But, you know, these, like workshops and all that at least you get out of the office for a day the problem is that basically uh i am almost a one-man team where i work oh yeah how does this work i forgot how this works oh yeah but there's a shortcut Because this is, yes, does not open from the other side, or this side, is my savior. 150k, I ain't risking that before Medir. <clears throat> yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna deposit them souls at Volgrim. Except that's the wrong game. That is a fun game. I am enjoying Darksiders 3. Sometimes frustrating, sometimes clunky, but hey, you know. I guess people who grew up in the like PS2 era are used to kind of that type of game because yeah, it's just basically not worth. Let's get some more vitality. Well, actually, you know what? Let's yeah. Can never go wrong with endurance. Again, people who grew up in that era, I guess, are kind of more used to occasionally clunky games. Because now people just expect, which I kind of tend to do this as well, expect perfection and AAA quality out of everything. But, you know, it's just jarring. I think Darksiders 3, the problem with it is, like, it does not have the look and feel of an indie game. Like, if it was an indie game and it was a little bit, you know, clunky, had long load times and all that, you would kind of excuse it I guess but the fact that it's technically you know released by a major developer a major publisher I guess people judge it more on AAA standards when it's clearly not a AAA game that's what people call and I said this before that the category would be kind of defined as double A which I guess is kind of a stupid term but all right there's the boy and I don't exactly remember yeah so he's gonna do this and I still got hit bitch Oh no. Yeah, I'm fucked. Put up your shield. This boy is trying to push me off too. I know it's safe here. At least I hope it's safe. Hide from the fire. Man, like... Daenerys' dragons ain't got nothing on this fool. Midir is actually really cool. As a concept, I just hate his boss fight. Like, his boss fight is... Probably the biggest pain in the ass in this game. And I get it, it's supposed to be a challenge, like... You know. 
That's okay. Oh, fuck. I think I did the exact same thing before as well. Moaning Knight. It's just, you know... He likes to moan, like, why would you diss him? Like, that's his prerogative. Jesus. Moaning Knight. Is that because this guy is always bitching when you meet him? Aegon of Kareem. Because, you know, it could be... How are you faster with that? Probably because you one-hand it. Yeah, that's kind of OP. Buffs him too. So yeah, this dude likes to get his bitch on whenever, you know, you encounter him in the main game. So I think it's only fitting. The terminology, you know. Blindfold mask. Oh, is that the Black Witch Domino mask? I think it is. That's cool because it's the black best part of the Black Witch set. Let me tell you. The Domino Mask. Oh, man, I know there's a bonfire here somewhere. Only question is where. I think I really... Okay. It, this is where I was, right? No, no, no. This is not... Oh, uh, yeah, this is... Let's see, on a scale of 1 to 10, how much have I forgotten how this area comes together like this? Okay, this is a dead end. We got that. Okay. Oh, crystal... <laughs> I was like, wait, you hit this guy once and you get a bunch of upgrade materials? But no, it's the... Must have been the crystal lizard from earlier. It committed Sudoku and, you know. Luckily, crystal lizards don't function like Dark Souls 2s do. Where you actually have to, like, physically pick up the thing. Where the hell... Oh. Never mind. Was that stupid? Hell yeah, that was stupid. Don't mind me. Oh, come on. Can you not make it that... Hmm. In... Interesting. We drop down. Oh. That is the second time I've been extremely blind in this area. This is where Lap is. Where he ends up, I mean. I know about his questline. I know about it. Don't worry. Alright, down we go. Wherever there, Wherever there's treasure, you know. Pretty much know you're going the right way. That looks like a bottomless pit if I've ever seen one. Shit. This is that place. But then I can, you can just like walk over this rubble. Hmm. Have I been stumped by the reworked catacombs? Oh. Yep. Ain't fooling me, game, with this shit. This is a different area, then. I thought I was back at the same place as before. Look at this bitch mimic. Fuck you. Ring of the Evil Eye. The shitty ring as well. Alright, we're going the right way. We're going the right way. Again. If you see enemies, you're on the right path. So let me just check. 
Okay. Never mind. I got you, game. I got you. Bam. Satisfying. Just blast him with this. No hyper armor on that, though. That would be way too OP as well. If it had hyper. Okay. Oh, nice soup. All that effort for this. Well, whatever. Let's get a move on. I am Midiris here. Oh, shit, I. This encounter is a motherfucker. Because he's gonna be blasting fire. Doesn't go through the tunnel for some reason. But somehow you gotta make it all the way up to him and fight him a little bit, which is. Not the nicest thing. Not the nicest thing, let me tell you that. But that's going to be left for the next episode, I think. Uh, for now, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up here. Thank you guys very much for watching. There isn't actually that much left, if I remember correctly. Because after Medir, you pretty much get to Filianor, right? It's not that long. So yeah, I'm going to wrap it up here. Thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Dark Souls 3. And... Yeah, I'll see you, all of you next time. Peace out. Goodbye.